How's it going, guys? It's Brad. So, yeah, now time for the WWE SmackDown review, the first SmackDown of 2018. So, let's get started. So, SmackDown starts off with AJ Styles coming out to the ring addressing everyone, saying he had a few New Year's resolutions where he said resolution number one was that he plans to not only enter WrestleMania as WWE champion, he plans to walk out as WWE champion. That's an interesting one. I think if AJ will go to Mania's champion. I don't know if he walks out. We'll see. That that they asked Daniel Bryan for his match with Sami Zayn tonight. Will Daniel Bryan allow Kevin Owens at ringside or not? So Daniel Bryan comes out and has he's about to twist and not say it. Shane McMahon comes out and Shane says, if you're gonna have Kevin Owens at ringside and show favoritism to Sammy and Kevin Owens, I'm gonna be at AJ's corner. And Daniel Bryan's like, well, if you're if Kevin's gonna be here and Shane's gonna be here, I'm gonna let's see, I'm gonna yeah. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna be at ringside. There we go. So yeah, after that we get our tag team title match. We get the Usos defend the tag titles against Chat Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Really good match back and forth. This the ending was sort of fucked up. So the ending was that the legal men were Shelton Benjamin and Jane Uso. When the Usos went to do a suicide dive on Chad uh, Gable, Jay Uso gets pulled out of the ring by Shelton, gets thrown on the barricade. Now Shelton and Chad Gable do their finisher on Jimmy Uso. Chad Gable pins Jimmy for the three count. It looks like they had the win until another referee came out. And the re current referee in the ring recognizes his mistake, restarts the match as both men in the decision were not legal. So in the end, the Usos... I think it was Jay Uso that pinned Chad Gable to get the three count for the win. So the Usos are still tag team champions and dodge a major bullet. So yeah, next match, it wasn't really a match. We get Bludgeon Brothers versus Bree Songo. It was a quick squash match. Actually, it wasn't even a match because the Bludgeon Brothers were destroying the Bree Songo before the match even started. But then the Ascension come out. And then they get destroyed by the Bludgeon Brothers and they're standing tall. So this match ended in a no contest. Because it never happened. The bell never rang. Next match we get, we get a we get a tag, we get a US Championship first round match. We also get to see the bracket. This match is Xavier Woods of the New Day versus Aiden English. With Rusev at Rainside and the New Day at Rainside. Very decent match back and forth. By the way, the winner of this match will, will face Jinder Mahal in the semifinals. I think it's in a couple weeks. So, in the end, Xavier would hit the elbow drop. I think that's his new finisher now. The elbow drop from the top rope. We'll call it the Macho Man elbow drop. And he gets the three count for the win. So, he gets to move on and face Jinder Mahal next week in round two. And the other matchup that will decide who will face Bobby Roode next week. On SmackDown next week in the tournament will be Mojo Raleigh versus Sack Ryder. I think it's pretty obvious who's gonna win that. So yeah, next up we get a six women tag match. We get the welcoming committee of Natalia, Tamina, Snuka, and Miss Money in the Bank Carmella with Lana at ringside to face the Riot Squad of Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, and Liv Morgan. And we'd also find out that all seven women have declared entry into the Royal Rumble match. Back and forth match. In the end, Riot Squad will get the three count for the win. So Riot Squad stands tall. Of course, they officially announced that they declared entry into the Rumble, even though we already knew that. Then Charlotte Flair comes out, addresses the Riot Squad, saying she has a couple friends that, want, that would like to get a piece of the Riot Squad. So the first person that comes out with Charlotte is Naomi. And the second person that comes back, that comes out, is the returning Becky Lynch. As we know, Becky Lynch wasn't seen since the Ride Squad's debut. She's been, she was ran off with an injury, but she was out filming a movie. So all three come to the ring and, and, and attack the Ride Squad. And then all three are staying tall. And Becky Lynch also has declared entry into the Royal Rumble match. So yeah, I think that's like now, what, 12, 13 women? That's almost the whole main roster. See, I think I'm thinking for the women's rumble, they're gonna have to pull some women out of NXT and maybe that May Young Classic, or or hell, just maybe have them call a few legends out of retirement, maybe a Trish Stratus or Alita or even a Beth Phoenix or a or Torres, somebody. 
So yeah, next up, we get to our main event. AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn with Kevin Owens in AJ's quarter and Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan both at ringside. Back and forth match. Really good match, actually. That finish. Well, AJ was about AJ was about to finish Shane, Sami Zayn, but Sami Zayn decided to run toward the ref. Now, the referee in this match was Mike Chioda, and this was a weird thing he did. To avoid getting run over, he dives right out of the rain onto the concrete. He dives right out. I'm shitting you not. Like, usually you just step out of the rain. But he dives. This is one of our most, this is one of the most veteran referees we have in WWE. And he does something a rookie would do. God damn. And then when AJ had a three count, Kevin Owens was blocking the ref from entering. And the ref would only get a two count. Shane McMahon would demand that Kevin Owens be ejected from ringside. Kevin would get ejected. Then in that same process, Daniel Bryan grabbed the microphone and said, if you're going to eject Kevin Owens, you might as well go too. And then during all that, Kevin would provide a distraction on AJ that would allow Sami Zayn to hit the Huluba kick and get a three count for a win. For the win. So second week in a row, the, so now Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have both knocked off AJ Styles. And then AJ Styles said, screw it. I, he doesn't know whose side Daniel Bryan is on, but he said he'd rather want if he said it. Sammy and Kevin can't win on their own, then he might as well face them both in a handicap match. And then Daniel Bryan decided to live to that land of opportunity crap. And the, decides that at the Royal Rumble, AJ Styles is defending the WWE Championship against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens in a two-on-one handicap match. So you so you so a three so a triple threat match was too was too much was not good enough. Okay, and that's how we end SmackDown. So Daniel Bryan showing some favoritism. Then you know then you know it's all Shane McMahon's fault because you know he wanted to screw over Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens at Clash of Champions. So if anyone's to blame for Daniel's favoritism, the Sami and Kevin Owens, Shane McMahon's the one to blame. Overall, SmackDown it was a good episode, a lot better than Raw. 5 out of 10, my rating. So yeah, that's all I got to say about SmackDown. Hope everyone has a great day, and yeah, peace out.